Thank you, Minister. If you could just stay on stage, you'll be great, because I'd now like to ask Mark Halton, the Minister for Regional Services, Decentralisation and Local Government and Assistant Minister for Trade and Investment to present the first of our investment awards for the evening. Welcome, the Minister. Great to have you here. <laughs> Now, the investment awards are presented to international companies or joint ventures making a long-term contribution to Australia through their investment in our economy. Nominations were received from a wide range of international investors, which have brought capital, skills and technologies that have helped Australia. Nominations were assessed on the commitment to deliver sustainable long-term economic impact, job creation, positive impact on our regional economies and introduction of new research and development. There are three awards in the investment award category. The first investment award to be announced is for regional investment. I always like this bit. And the winner is Malfa Australia Limited. Malfa Australia Limited's Intercontinental Cayman Island Redevelopment Project is located at the northernmost point in the Whitsunday Islands, in the heart of the Great Barrier Reef. Hayman Island was forced to shut down for extensive repairs following cyclones Yassi and Debbie. Molfa has been a committed owner of Hayman. The developer has continued to support the island's global reputation for delivering outstanding five-star luxury tourism experiences to domestic and international guests. Malfa's investment of $135 million to reposition and relaunch Hayman has set a new benchmark in luxury resort travel for the region. Uh, thank you very much. Um, the Honourable Senator mentioned that there's a number of um, very important traits in business. And one of those traits was resilience. Uh, Malfa Australia has been a long-term investor in the Australian market for 40 years, and we've owned Hayman Island for about 20 years. And we've rebuilt Hayman Island three times from cyclones, and that's what I call true resilience. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Cyclone Debbie was devastating to North Queensland, devastating to Hayman Island. It was a direct hit on our property. And we, uh, we took the view that uh, we would be the builder. Uh, we employed over 400 people over a two-year construction cycle. And we've produced what we think is the, one of the most iconic resorts in the world in perhaps the most iconic destination in Australia. So for us, uh, we're very proud to have achieved uh, what we've achieved. We're, we're thrilled and privileged to have this award. And I think that uh, for us, um, you know, we'll be, we will be there for the long term. We're going to make this a great property and something that everyone in the industry can be truly proud of. Thank you.